So I'm gonna do my best to make this photo and video comparison useful and hope the YouTube compression algorithm does not destroy the quality after I upload this video. So just for some context, here's a photo of the setup that I used. It is my super professional phone tripod attached to a lawn chair. So this first photo was taken in the afternoon during the day. On the left side, we have the Graphene OS camera app. On the right side, we have the Gcam app. So while there's not a ton of difference right off the bat, just glancing at it, if you look at the fence in the background, the Graphene OS app looks pretty grainy down there. If we zoom in, you can actually see the big difference. And if we zoom in on Gcam as well, you can really see that the Gcam app took a much more crisp looking photo. So when it comes to the afternoon shots, hands down Gcam. This next photo I took as the sun was setting. Again, we have the Graphene OS camera app on the left, Gcam on the right. It's tough to tell just glancing at the photos if there's much of a difference. If you zoom in again, you know, I, I think they're both pretty on par here. Well, I guess looking a little bit more though, the Gcam app did come out a little bit crisper, especially looking at the fence again in the background. We can see that it looks like the Graphene OS app kind of smoothed over the fence and didn't really get that sharpness to it. The Gcam looks like it did. Again, I'm going to say this one goes to Gcam. So this one's a video that I took I wanted to compare. The left side, we have the Graphene OS camera. On the right, we have Gcam. So if we look at the Graphene OS video, that, that video looks really good. Crisp, sharp. If we take a look at the Gcam video, I kind of felt like I was filming on a potato, so I don't really know why it turned out so poorly. Maybe you can try it on your phone, you'll have a different experience. Let me know if you had to change any settings, but straight out of the box, the Gcam video looks pretty pitiful. So funny enough, I didn't think this would happen, but hands down, the video quality goes to the Graphene OS camera app. So this next photo was taken at dusk. Left side is the Graphene OS camera, right side is Gcam. Just looking at this, the Gcam photo looks much more crisp and sharp compared to the Graphene OS camera. Again, that one looks a little blotchy. If we zoom in, we can really start seeing the quality difference in the photos. So this one around dusk goes to Gcam. Then lastly, we have the night photo. The one on the left, this was taken by the Graphene OS camera on the right. Again, Gcam. This one honestly is a toss up. Yes, the Gcam one looks a little bit better, but they both kind of suck in my opinion, so I wouldn't really recommend this camera for nighttime photo at all. But the one bonus feature that the Gcam has that the Graphene OS camera does not have that I didn't even know about until I was messing around with the app. Gcam has something called Night Sight. So this photo was taken using the Night Sight feature and what it does is you have the phone sitting there for about two minutes. It's taking in a bunch of light from the ambient light around, putting the photo together. I actually don't know exactly how it's doing it, but this is the photo I ended up with. So we can see here on the left, we have the Night Sight photo. On the right, we have the regular Gcam Night photo. And honestly, this photo kind of blew my mind just how good it looks being taken when it's dark outside. This Night Sight feature of Gcam, hands down, impressive. 